Hello, boys and girls. Once again, I am back with a story. This story is called Animal Dads. And you know, we're going to be doing our Father's Day, our Happy Daddy's Day. So I thought I would read this story to you about Animal Dads. It's by Sneed B. Collard III. dads. Dads do many things. They build us homes to live in. A sickleback dad builds a nest out of pieces of plants. The female sickleback, stickleback lays her eggs. In this nest, the male fertilizes them and afterward the male drives the female away, but his job isn't over yet. Dad continues to guard the nest from enemies and he protects the babies after they hatch. Hmm, so that's a little different. The daddy takes care of the babies and the mommy is gone. Now, animal, our animal mommies and daddies are sometimes a little different. They keep us snug and warm. We remember learning this. After an emperor penguin female lays her single egg, she leaves dad in charge and walks to the sea to search for food. For nine weeks, dad holds the egg on his feet, keeping it warm under a special feather lined pouch. After the egg hatches, mom returns. Then she and dad take turns feeding and caring for their downy youngster. They bathe us. Oh, look at underground. And just tidy us up. Gorillas live in close family groups. Dad's main job is to protect the family's territory, but that's not all he does. Sometimes he plays with youngsters and removes biting insects and dirt from their fur. This is called grooming. Dads watch out for strangers. Poison arrow frogs make excellent parents. Some types of female poison arrow frogs lay their eggs under a stone or in a moist hole. Dad guards these eggs and chases enemy, away enemies, including other frogs. After the tadpoles hatch, they wriggle into dad's, onto dad's back and dad carries the tadpoles to a small stream or pond where they grow into young adults. You just hear him saying ribbit. And they shelter us from harm. Like stickleback dad, some sidlick cichlid, it's called cichlid fish, are active fathers. They build nests, guard eggs, and may even find food for their babies to eat. If danger comes, comes along, some cichlid dads protect their young in an amazing way. Dad opens his mouth and the babies swim inside. The babies stay inside his mouth until the danger has passed. Oh, that's kind of funny, huh? <clears throat> And dads, they feed us. Beavers are famous for cutting down trees to build dams and, lo and lodges. Beaver dads also cut down trees for another reason. When beaver babies stop drinking mother's milk, dad chops down trees so the babies can eat meals of fresh, tender bark. dads help us find our voice. Most birds are, are born knowing how to sing, but not all. Young male western meadowlarks learn their songs by listening to their dads and other adult males. Young meadowlarks don't always listen to the right songs. Some meadowlarks have learned the songs of red-winged blackbirds, common yellowthroats, and even cardinals.
Oh, how funny. They are learning to sing together. Sometimes dads play. Dwarf mongoose dads are good time dads. Like gorillas, dwarf mongooses live in close families and have aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, and of course parents. Mom rarely plays with her youngsters, but dad often joins in a playful romp in the dirt. Dad also catches most of the food for the youngsters and teaches them how to hunt. Other times, dads perform. Killdeer lay their eggs on open rocks or gravel. If a predator comes too close to the eggs, a killdeer dad can turn into an actor. Often he starts shrieking loudly and pretending he has a broken wing. With luck, the predator will follow dad and leave the kill digger eggs alone. There he was coming to eat the eggs and he became the actor. Dads have their ups. To spawn or reproduce, salmon return to the same river or stream where they were born. The trip can be difficult. Salmon dads and mom often have to keep to leap clear out of the water to get past logs or rocks. Sometimes a salmon dad even wriggles over shallow stretches of gravel to reach the place where he will spawn. Oh, look at them. So they have their ups and their downs. Lion dads might seem like lazy dads, but that's not always true. Lions live in family groups called prides. In the pride, female lions raise the cubs and do most of the hun hunting. Father lions guard the female females and cubs and defend the pride's territory from other lions. All of this can be a lot of work. That's why it's not unusual to see a lion dad yawn taking an afternoon nap. And there's the baby. Some dads go away. Most baby animals never get to see their parents. Many baby animals. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to sneeze, I'm sorry. Many baby animals never get to see their parents. After um, gopher, the gopher tortoise Dads mate with gopher tortoise moms. The dad go, dads go their own way. Mom buries her eggs in a shallow nest in sandy soil. And then the leaves, she leaves as well, never to see her babies after they hatch. Oh my goodness. And I think we learned that about the, um, the sea turtles too. Some dads always stay. Wolves live together in packs. Each pack is led by a male and a female wolf who mate for life. After a new litter of babies is born, dad leads the pack on hunting trips and brings back meat for the pups to eat. Dad also protects the pups, plays with them, and of course teaches them how to howl. Like gopher tortoises, most reptile parents leave soon after they have mated and have their eggs. Nile crocodiles are different. Nile crocodile moms and dads watch over their nests and carry the babies to water after they hatch. Dads also work with moms to chase away predators until the babies can look out for themselves. Don't want to get near those teeth. And dads do things for us that we never even know about. Megapodes don't incubate their eggs by sitting on them. Instead, many megapode dads build large mounds of leaves and soil for mom to lay her eggs in. As the leaves in the mound rot, they give off heat, which incubates the megapode's eggs. Mom leaves after she lays the eggs, but dad sticks around. He turns the leaves over and moves them around to make sure the eggs remain, remain at just the right temperature until they hatch. It's kind of a pretty pretty bird. Babysitting dads? You bet. Tamarins are small primates related to monkeys, gorillas, and people. Tamarins live in groups. Dads often help care for the young, including sharing the babysitting duties. If a curious tamarin 
youngster wanders away, dad runs after it and brings it back to the family. And house cleaning, dad? Sure. Desert isopod dads and moms dig and defend the burrow where they raise their young. Dads also help with the house cleaning. Both the, he and mom carry out soil and refuse from the burrow. Desert iPods don't live very long. Both parents die soon after their young are born. Dads give birth? Oh my, what is that? A seahorse. It's hard to believe, but yes, one or two dads do give birth. After mating, a seahorse or pipefish mother transfers her eggs to the father. Inside dad's special baby pa belly pouch, the eggs hatch, but the young fish don't swim out right away. They feed from blood vessels that line dad's pouch. When the babies grow big enough to survive on their own, dad gives birth. The babies swim out into the ocean. Dads do many things, and dads are many things. Happy Father's Day coming up to all of our dads.